And we're back with part two of the review show um, for this week. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of research on movies that I've always wanted to review on the channel. Um, and a lot of them are actors that are very, very talented and amazing in all their movies. Um, so we're going to start um, with Seth Rogen. What more could I say about him? He's very talented. He's done numerous movies, appearances on shows like Family Guy, American Dad. Um, so we're gonna re re we're gonna do some of his movies. I'm sorry, I need uh, to wake up a little bit. Um, I've had a long morning already, so we're gonna get into it. Um, so do do do. Um, Pineapple Express. Amazing movie. Really, really funny. Um, that is one of his best roles, honestly, that I've honestly seen him in. Um, it essentially has everything you really want in a movie. I mean, great humor, great plot, action, comedy, um, and lots of funny jokes in it. Um... I don't know what more to say about it. I mean, it's just one of those movies there where you could just sit and watch it over and over again. It's it's absolutely amazing, honestly. It's really, really funny. Um, the next one we're going to be doing um, is Knocked Up with him and Catherine he Heigl. Um, I think that that's really what started his career um you know, to be a, uh, the star that he is, honestly, is is was that movie. Knocked Up had so many great moments. Um, I like the scene when she flips out um, when they're on their way um, to the doctor. And basically she just loses it and she just starts cussing out at him and throwing stuff at him. And, and it's just one of those scenes where it's like, man, like, I don't know, like, their chemistry throughout that movie was just amazing. Plus the the cameo of of some of the other characters in the movie from other um movies he'd been in. Um I I don't know, it's just Knocked Up was just one of those movies where you can just watch it over and over again and, and never get sick of it. It it is brilliant. I mean it is really brilliant. It's it whoever came up with that storyline for that movie and that plot you did a real, real, like, awesome freaking job with it. Like, I can't really say enough about Knocked Up. I think it's it's one of those movies that is really, really great. Um, okay, um, then we're just going to Superbad. I mean, Superbad, not only do you have Seth Rogen, but you have Jonah Hill. You have Justin Long. I mean, again, the cast is freaking amazing. I mean, the humor in it is genius. I mean, that movie just works on its own um, in every aspect. I mean, I can't say anything bad about that movie in any form of way. I mean, I laughed my ass off when I was watching that movie. Um, okay, hang on here. Um, this is the end. Um, not only is that movie brilliant because of the cast and the fact that, that, I mean, it's just, the plot is great. I know some people didn't like that movie, but I don't know why it was so, so incredibly hilarious and funny. I mean, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I could not resist laughing throughout that whole movie. I mean, he was just so great in that. Um... And then, um, hang on here, I'm losing Paul. Another movie that he was in that he did a great job in. I mean, yeah, he played an animated alien in the movie, but his character development was so great throughout the movie. I mean, he always made great jokes in the movie. Um, I could watch it over and over again. I think it's it's brilliant, man. I mean, I, I really respect everything that, that that guy has done throughout his career. Um, and then you have to consider Neighbors 1 and 2. I mean, those are also another two movies that I thought were pretty decent. Um, I know some people didn't like the second one, but I thought the first one was pretty funny. So, um, 
Observe and Report. Another movie where he plays a, a cop. And he's really good at it. He's funny with it. And it just works for him. And Amy Smart's also in that movie too. And she does a great job in it too. Um, so we're going to get away from Seth Rogen a little bit. Um, and we're going to go to... Um, Justin Long, for example, um, accepted. Uh, not to mention Jeepers Creepers one and two. He was in both of those. Um, Justin Long is a is an incredibly talented actor. He's done a lot. Um, I respect him too. He's he's got he's got some talent, man. Um, and his brother too. His brother's also a good actor too. So, um, Jonah Hill. Um, let's talk about him now. Uh, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, uh, super bad, accepted again. He, he does a great job in all these movies. Um, The Setter is, is, is another funny movie that he did. Um, you know, um, Forgetting Sir Marshall, he was also in that one. He did a pretty good job in that movie, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I just... Uh, I think all these actors are just... I mean, all these movies, honestly, I would say every single one of them are, are great, great movies. They're always fun to watch. Um, I would give every single one of them, honestly, a 9, if not a 10. They're, they're top movies. They're really hilarious. They're really funny. Um, a few, few movies that I didn't list on here, um, or, um, you know, Zack and Miriam make a porno, um, which is another movie that Seth Rogen was in, um, that, and don't judge me, f uh, for wanting to review that movie, I mean, it's nothing like the title, I mean, it's it's just a funny movie. It's it's I don't know, like uh, I mean, it's it's one of those funny movies where you just have to watch it and check it out. Um, I'm trying to think here, um, funny people. That's not a bad movie either. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, those are just a few things I I was gonna talk about, um, and. The last two movies I really wanted to talk about were um, Big Daddy with Adam Sandler. I mean, that's that's a great movie, too. Um, that's another movie I would give a 9. It's really, really funny. Um, great cast surrounding around him. Rob Snyder's a freaking genius. Um, Dirty Work with Nor Norm MacDonald. Um, not to mention Chris Farley's in that movie. Um, Artie from from Howard Stern is in that movie. Um, All-star cast in that movie, too. Um, great stuff. Um, and then there was one other one I was going to just quickly talk about. Let's talk about Mr. Deeds. I mean, Adam Sandler and Amy Adams, um, both of them do a great job in that movie. I mean, these are just a few people who I think are are great actors. Um, and the last person we're going to talk about is Will Ferrell. I mean, look at Step Brothers, um, Elf. Elf. Um, I mean, Wedding Crashers, Old School. <laughs> uh, I mean, Night at the Roxbury. Um... I mean, he's been in so many great movies. I can't even name all of them. Tell it, tell the day, good nights. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could continue going on with Will Ferrell. I mean, he's done. Uh, I mean, the guy's a genius with all his movie roles. Um, I can't think of one movie that he's ever done where I've been like, you know, it's a bad movie. Um, definitely any movie with him and Vince Vaughn. I mean, that that's great too. Uh, speaking of that, let's talk about Vince Vaughn real fast, too, why I have you on here. Um, again, I mean, Vince Vaughn, he's been in, like, Wedding Crashers, Dodgeball, I mean, Old School, uh, 
hang on here. There's Psycho remake actually. He was in that. Um, so yeah, I think that they all kind of work together in their roles very well. Um, and Ben Stiller, honestly, as well. Like he's worked with you know Will Ferrell and Vince Vaughn before and Owen Wilson. I mean, they all work together in movies. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, Zoolander, for example, is a great movie. If you guys never saw, saw the original one, Will Ferrell's in that with Owen Wilson, and David Bowie's even in that. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll cut you guys loose. I just wanted to kind of talk about some of these movies, uh, give you guys some more information. Um, so I'll be back uh, another time. Add me if you want to.